Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul. We're going to be doing the Anomaly mission today, so thank you for stopping in. Sit back, and let's watch the show. As we log in today, I'm going to go describe certain events that are going on. Uh, we know that there's a neat new game out that uh, everybody's been playing off of Steam and uh, Xbox. Really great game. Um, I've been hearing a lot of great reviews about it. I plan on playing it one day, but probably not going to be showcasing it, uh, showcasing it on this channel at all. But it is a really good game, and I hope you are all having a lot of fun with it, um, especially with the ship customization. That's something that everybody's been talking about. So I look forward to seeing it in person myself and doing it a little bit more of that. But for now, here we are, No Man's Sky. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in and check out the anomaly and see what we got in store for us today. In regards to my normal streaming, things like that, I am probably not going to be streaming. I'm definitely not streaming this weekend. And I was planning on streaming next weekend, but I forgot I was going to be out of town. So uh, we probably are not going to be streaming next weekend either. Uh, so I apologize for that. There's a possibility I could do it Friday night, but most likely not. Uh, so don't, uh, don't hold your breath. We'll see what happens. So hopefully we'll start getting a little better at the um, audio on this. I've been hearing some comments regarding my audio, my, my voice fading in and out on the audio. So I've got an, an eyeball on my audio monitor right now, so it seems to be doing okay at the moment. We'll see how it goes. I'll try to make sure I stay right in front of my microphone the whole time. Maybe that's the whole reason why a lot of gamers use uh, gaming headsets with microphones built right into them so that they don't uh, lose the lose the voice, but can't sit there with that thing strapped to my head all the time. Anyway, let's see what we got. As you can see, we got the blue icon at the top indicating that we do have a weekend mission available. It is Simple Fauna. Now, as you know, there is an expedition going on right now. Feel free to play it. There was a little bug on it, but who knows whether it's been fixed or not. We'll see what happens. All right, so we're going to get started. Simple Fauna. We get liquid explosive as a reward plus 1,800 quicksilver. So it looks to me like uh, Simple Fauna seems limitless. At what level of intelligence do creatures begin to exhibit traits such as greed, deceit, manipulation? How can the evolution of such traits be avoided? Polo requests ground crew get closer to these creatures. Okay, let's see what happens. Looks like we're going to be befriending some creatures. Okay, we'll get the alert. Any second. There it is. All right. And off we go on our mission. All right, simple fauna. How interesting! Kind of a new one for me. Um, I'm not sure if I've ever seen it worded that way before. If we're befriending, befriending creatures, but we'll see what happens here. Yeah, and already I see my audio is dropping again, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Very interesting. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens here. And it looks like we're at this planet over here, which is an icy planet. So that's going to be interesting to begin with. Let's see what happens here. We've reached the target planet. So I don't think it really makes a difference where we land. So we're just going to go ahead and come in for a landing. We'll check things out. And just make sure there's no places I can land automatically. I want to land someplace where it's a little more opened up. A lot of supplies down there. I don't really need supplies right now. This looks okay. We'll just go down here. Land in this open valley. This looks good. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, Team Wildlife. Okay, so we need creature pellets. Not sure if I have any on me. Wow, I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory. I don't think my person's any better. There's creature pellets. That should be good. I don't think we're going to need that many. Alright, so we get, looks like we already got creatures showing up here. Let's check them, check them out and see what they are. And a whole bunch of little ones, too. I think I've got it set to a hot key. No, I don't. We're going to make this number eight. And that way, we just have to hit that. 
We only attracted two creatures. We need a lot more than that. Let's just drop some everywhere. Whoa. Those are some big boys. Interesting. That is an interesting looking creature. Fascinating. Oops. Careful, I don't want to be punching these creatures. These people, these creatures look really big. There we go. So how many creatures have we gotten? Looks like we got a lot more coming. And it's awful cold out here right now, so hopefully you have cold protection as well. Interesting. And it almost looks like they're not interested anymore. Fascinating. Okay. Okay. Now, if you shoot a little bit, and then you drop more food, you can befriend the creatures you've already... Befriended once already. See what happens? So that's a little trick. So if you've got a whole bunch of creatures here, like we've already got half the number of creatures, so there's no harm in doing it again. Be careful of them. Don't want to shoot the creatures accidentally. Whoa, that's a new one. Wow, check him out. That's a cool looking creature. Alright, looks like we're at the 36 of 47. 37 of 47. Don't freeze to death while you're at it. Here we go. This will get us the rest of the way. 41, 42, 43. Got four more to go. Yep. Five. Six. We just need one more. There it is. Seven. Okay, we got it. So that seems to be about it. That seems to be the whole mission. Just befriend some creatures and call it a day. So I didn't need a whole lot of those creature pellets. Probably could have done with the 19 I had. But... There we are. And that seems to be all there was to this. So that is probably the best way to do it. Land in a planet, get yourself into a whole group of animals like this. And then once they've all fed, go ahead and back off real quick. Shoot a weapon in the air or something like that. Scare them off so that they don't want to be your friend anymore. And then immediately feed them. And they want to be your friend again. So that would be the best way to do it. So not bad there. All right. Planetary interference. Yeah, gotta get it further away from the planet. I forgot about that. There we go. Off we are back to the anomaly. All right, there we go. So again, the expedition is uh, in full swing. It is a very relaxed expedition. I'm not sure how we could possibly speed run it because there's so much to get done. There was the one bug in phase two that had a little bit of an issue, and I think. They may have fixed it. It's hard to say. We're going to check it out. I do know that they mentioned something on Instagram regarding a new hotfix coming up for No Man's Sky. Uh, that it was in the experimental servers right now. And they're checking it out. So that's a good thing. So let's go ahead and complete the mission. We've got our Quicksilver. We've got our Liquid Explosives. Okay, good. Which are very expensive items, by the way, in case you're wondering. It should be, right? I have an egg in here. Just ignore it. That's from the expedition. Uh, liquid explosive. Liquid. There it is. Right there. Worth 800,000 units. So that's actually pretty good. And you can use it to create other things. So keep that in mind. Good thing to have in your inventory. 
and in the Quicksilver store, we can check things out. Exotic items from Quicksilver. You'll see we have the ex Scorching Jetpack Trail has been opened up in Tier 1. So let's go ahead and grab that. We have a festive one. I'm not sure I'm really keen on that one, to be honest with you. The Pyrotechnic one, which is interesting. Plasma Jet Trail looks pretty cool. And then you have your Fusion Jetpack. I'm kind of looking forward to these two. I want to see what they're like. So let's go ahead and exit here. So this is my jetpack trail right now, which is my, whoop, going down the hole. <laughs> which is the um, dissident one. Dissident? I'll get it right one of these days. So we go to our backpack, and you'll see I'm on trail 10, which is discordant, pardon me, discordant trail. We also have the electric trail. We have the scorching trail. Here's what the electric trail looks like. Just so you know. Okay. That's what that looks like. I'm assuming the Scorching Trail is going to lose something very similar to that. Let's go ahead and get rid of the cape temporarily. Just back here, as you can see, I've got uh, the customized cape. We'll just go ahead and shut that off temporarily. And I can do the air on turbo jet if you want, so if you guys can see that. So this is, the, again, the electric. That actually looks pretty good from the air on one. I kind of like that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's look at the other one so you can see what that looks like. That is up here, number 12, Scorching. Pretty neat. Reality glitch I always used to use, but the Discordant one is really cool. Scorching, not bad. Let's check that out. Oh, uh, I just may have found my new favorite. Oh, there's nothing like flames coming out of it. You're going old school on that. I like that. Um, and I'm kind of liking the Aeron. I don't really particularly usually uh, care about the Aeron one, but I'm kind of getting hooked on it a little bit. That's the exotic. That's what that looks like. I like that too. Streamlined comes out of one. Retro, two. And the alpha one comes out of two. Exotic. I kind of like that. I don't know. There's something about the Aeron one, though, man. That just looks too cool. We'll stick with Aeron for now. We're going to get rid of our cape temporarily. I know there's a weird way to get the cape and the uh, backpack at the same time, but I'm going to hold off on that. So we're going to stick with this for a little bit and go with this look. So I kind of like that. I don't know. We're going to kick it around a little bit. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. We're going to go ahead and end it here and call it a day. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe. We'll see you again in the next episode. And by the way, I do have a new series coming out starting next Wednesday. So watch for that. It's going to be a permadeath story mode. Permadeath story mode. We're going to go all the way through to the center of the galaxy on this one. So we're going to take this for many, many, many episodes beyond the usual 20 to 23 I usually do. So we're probably going to have about 30 or 40 episodes of that. All right. So take care, everybody. It was great seeing you. Again, please hit the like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.